Natasha Haji says, Salam Shaykh. Um, wa alaikum as salam. MashaAllah, you give such good advice. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept it. Uh, Allah bless you and reward you. I mean, wa iyaakum. Me and my husband are going through the worst phase. My husband lost a lot of money as someone didn't pay him back during Hajj this season. What's the best advice and dua? Please, really, I need your help and advice. Jazakallahu khairan. Can my husband also email you privately? Yes, he can email me, inshallah. Um, also, uh, yeah, you, you can email me. I do get a lot of emails, um, a few thousand every week. So it's very difficult for me to reply to all of them. But uh, do feel free to reply. Regarding your question, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make easy your affairs and the affairs of all the Muslims. Um, make lots of dua to Allah. You know, don't make dua just once a day or even five times a day. You want to be making dua over and over again, like hundreds of times in different methods, different ways. Our Shaykh Ibn Aqil rahimahullah, he used to say, make dua in multiple different ways and in multiple different um, like wordings, use different wordings because one of them inshallah will get answered. Okay. And of course, there are also the duas of the sunnah, which are mentioned. Allahumma inni a'udhu bika min al-hammi wal-hazan wal-ajzi wal-kasar wal-bukhli wal-jubni wal-dala'i al-dayni wa ghalabat al-rijal. Make dua for this dua many, many times, inshaAllah. Ibn Janubi says, the ulama agreed that the slaughter method needs to be severing from the veins, windpipe, etc. Absolutely. You're correct, my brother. Um, Ibn Janubi says, in the UK and Europe, they electrocute it and they do not use severing. Okay, so uh, I don't know the current methods and, and I made that clear back then. But about 15 years ago, when I did some research on the method of slaughtering animals in the UK specifically, was they actually, um, they stunned the, uh, the animal. And when it came to chickens, a humongous percentage of the chickens actually died before the slaughter. So of course that would be haram. So stunned chicken to me would be completely haram. Even if it's in, uh, you know, if it's sold by halal butchers, to me, uh, stunned chicken back then, and I'm talking about 15 years ago, I don't know what the situation is now. Because the majority of the chickens died, uh, or uh, maybe not the majority, but the, a huge percentage of chickens would die um, before the actual slaughter. As for uh, larger animals like sheep and, and you know, uh, cows and all of that, they actually, uh, the, the bulk of them would actually not die until they've been slaughtered, right? So stunned meat, I, I, back then I used to um, say that uh, stunned meat, if it's been slaughtered correctly, uh, and if the uh, animal has not died before the uh, slaughter, it has to be slaughtered, and Allah's name has to be mentioned, of course, then uh, that meat would be uh, haram if it's not done in that way. Um, if, 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 sorry, let, let me repeat that. If the animal, has died bef by the stunning, before the slaughter, then that meat is haram. So we need to be careful of that, okay? Uh, and at that time they were saying, and this was actually a UK government report that I read, uh, it, it went into detail. They, they surveyed a whole bunch of uh, slaughterhouses in that report, and they were saying that uh, a huge, like the massive uh, percentage, they didn't die until the slaughter. So I don't know what the situation is now, I don't know because obviously it depends how much electricity is used um, uh, and, and what the power is and, and all of that. I don't know the details now. So you need to ask a local scholar in, that, uh, in the country that you're in.